Okay, so as everyone knows by now, AI is becoming more and more integrated into our life and it will continue to do so as it develops. So today we're going to be talking about how AI is used in digital marketing and more specifically how an e-tailer will use AI in their digital marketing strategy. And we'll be focusing on the online grocery retailer Woolworths for this topic. So let's go! And if you're new here, I'm Ebony May. I'm a uni student, I'm a cake business owner, and I study marketing. And on here, I show you behind the scenes of my life and just take you with me on how I do everything. And we also unpack topics just like this one. I would love if you could join my community and hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, let's get started. So as we've seen, Woolworths have been very involved in the current trends over the years, including the no plastic bags movement. They've implemented like efficiency into their self-checkout and also introduced delivery and direct-to-boot pickups. But as well as this, Woolworths have been working really hard behind the scenes to develop their online presence and keep up to date on the latest technologies to make their website more efficient. So now let's discuss on how they use AI on their website. Firstly, they have this little chatbot called Olive and Olive uses conversational AI to answer customer inquiries and questions. Olive is even so advanced that it can help customers receive refunds for missing and damaged items on their online orders, which is super cool. Another way they use AI is when you shop online at the Woolworths website, you'll see products recommended for you throughout the whole buying experience. They also recommend products underneath every single product you click on. For example, say you click on bagels, you want to buy bagels, underneath they literally recommend products in sections called like things you might also like. They recommend products such as cream cheese, salmon or anything you want to put on a bagel which is definitely used through AI. The Woolworths group says that we use AI and machine learning models to understand general shopping preferences and behaviours both online and in store. This helps us plan seasonal campaigns and improve product offers. So Woolworths have integrated many new technologies and automated systems, but the question is, are these improvements effective or are they just a waste of time? Let's have a look. Okay, one thing we do know is that the main reason for these technology improvements with AI is to improve the customer experience and automate repetitive tasks. So the chatbot on the Woolworths website answers questions that people ask all the time, like repeated questions. Then it feeds this back into the system so that in the future, Olive can actively use these answers and questions to answer more questions better. Now, this would be effective for Woolworths in two different ways. Firstly, it would allow quality customer service to make sure the customers are satisfied and this increased satisfaction because of the AI systems can encourage customers to shop more, like more repeat purchases and also recommend online shopping at Woolworths to other people. They can increase their customers and then increase revenue. Human employees on not focusing on the little tasks, but now they can focus on more creative tasks, which can develop the business even more and also save them costs. And also the recommending products feature in their digital marketing strategy through AI also helps customers discover new products, which adds to the ease of use of the website and also c encourages customers to spend a little bit more. So therefore, I think we can conclude that these AI technologies in their digital marketing strategy is very effective for Woolworths and a lot of people are happy with it. Okay, now let's talk competition. From my research, it seems that Woolworths is quite ahead with their AI technologies and in integrating this into their digital marketing strategy. And perhaps the first grocery shop in Australia to start implementing AI onto their website. Now let's compare this strategy with Coles, one of their direct competitors. First off the bat, Coles does not have any form of chatbot at all. And this means that customers have to go searching for their customer inquiries, which lowers the ease of use of the website and makes customers less satisfied. And from observation, it also seems that Coles are a little bit behind on their product recommendations as well. Say when you click on a product, it has customers also purchase this item. They don't have any recommendations like the bagel example from before. However, apparently Coles have just partnered with Microsoft to enhance their online experience through AI. So Woolworths better watch out for that. But compared to Coles, who is only looking into AI now, Woolworths is definitely ahead because they started integrating AI into their systems in 2019. And I think we've seen AI work for them through their sales. Last financial year, Woolworths did double the revenue Coles did. This is good and all, but there are some ethical considerations that we have to wonder about when looking at AI and digital marketing. First one might be 
data privacy concerns. As we know, Woolworths AI strategy does collect and access personal data so that they're able to recommend products and influence customer purchase behavior. But some customers may feel exploited and manipulated by this. Which brings me on to my next point, ethical issues. There is potential concerns of how manipulation is linked with purchase addiction. So customers might view the use of AI as influencing their behavior and they might think that is unfair. However, Woolworths luckily addresses these concerns by being transparent of how they use their data so that they can help customers understand and make informed decisions about AI integration. Okay, so Woolworths is already doing an amazing job in integrating AI into their digital marketing strategy. But if we were to give some recommendations, here's what we would say. Firstly, many fashion retailers are introducing something called virtual try-on. And I know that Woolworths is a grocery shop, but Woolworths could also do this with their makeup products and have a section on their website providing where customers can try on the makeup and Woolworths can provide recommendations on what products they should use for their skin type, etc. I also think to address the ethical concerns, Woolworths could work more at understanding customers and their privacy concerns. And they could do this through surveys. I think this will build trust with the customer and Woolworths to make sure they're also being very transparent. Another thing that they could do, which Amazon is doing right now, is summarize reviews underneath each product so that customers don't have to sift through reviews. They can just read a small paragraph of what people are saying and then they can make a decision from there, which adds to the ease of use of the website and also makes the customer more satisfied. Anyway, so we've definitely unpacked the topic of AI on e-retailers websites and Woolworths was just a great example to unpack this. I feel like their AI strategy is really working right now. Hope you learned something about AI and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe. Have the best day and I look forward to making more videos about this topic. Bye! <laughs>